Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Gentleman's Corner. My name is David, and as you can see, I'm not in my normal place right now. Now, because of inclement weather, uh, the folks at Club Humidor in San Antonio, Texas, have been kind enough to open up their Winston Churchill Lounge for me to uh, smoke in really quickly and film this video. So, real quickly, we're just going to get through this so that we don't disturb their customers. So today, we're talking about Peter Stokeby's Luxury Bullseye Flake. And I happen to have my Luxury Bullseye Flake with me. Before we get into the review, let me just open it up and take a whiff real quick. So right away, <coughs> I am smelling some really bright grassy notes. That would be the Virginias. Um, there's a little bit of pepper in there, which would be the Perique. And then I'm also smelling a very, very sweet note, which would be the Black Cavendish. So as I just said, um, this blend is uh, Virginia, Louisiana Perique, and Black Cavendish. It's available at Pipes and Cigars for $3.35 an ounce or $58.99 for a pound and a half. It's available at SmokingPipes.com. Uh, although currently it's out of stock and I couldn't get the price on it. And at Four Noggins, it's available um, uh, for $3.97 an ounce, but is also currently out of stock. This blend is also available at most of your brick and mortars. And if you're not looking to buy in large quantity, I would recommend going to your local brick and mortar because you're likely to get a better price because you're not paying for shipping. But before we get into the review, let's go ahead and take a look at the cut. Alrighty guys, well let's take a look at this uh, luxury bullseye flake. Let's go ahead and I'll take a couple of these flakes out. There we go. So, this is what, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. This is what the Peter Stokeby luxury bullseye flakes look like. Um, as you can see, these are a coin cut. Uh, which is where they take the tobacco, roll it into a cigar shape, and then cut it into discs. Um, you can see, I'll use a, I guess a pen here to help kind of point this out. So as you can see, you can see the Virginias and Periques that are here, and that lovely, lovely bullseye of black Cavendish that is in the middle. So these flakes are fairly thin. Um, they're not as thick as what I have heard the Escudo Navy Flakes are, which is another coin cut. Um, the texture on these is fairly nice. And overall, I'm uh, very happy with the tightness of the roll. I think it could be a little bit tighter on some of these coins, but overall it's decent. Um, it's, it's about what you would expect from a bulk blend. Now on their website, um, Peter Stokeby does recommend rubbing these out instead of the fold and stuff method, and I tend to agree with them. So I usually find that two coins is enough to fill my pipe, which seems to be the consensus of everybody else who has reviewed this. Um, so all I do is just take this, pinch it and fold it, and then take it in my hands and just kind of rub it out and it turns into uh, some stuffable pipe tobacco. So, but other than that, those are what the coins look like, and uh, but let's go ahead and see how it smokes. All right, well, let's get into some of the smoking mechanics. This is my fourth or fifth bowl of Peter Stokeby, uh, Luxury Bullseye Flake. And I have to say, I'm very happy with it. Um, this is my first non-aromatic smoke, um, other than a bowl of Frog Morton that I had a while back. So, and this is also my first vapor. Generally, I'm very happy with it. Um, the smoking mechanics are good. It's got a good mouthfeel. The Perique really wakes up your palate, especially early in the morning like it is right now. Uh, which is really nice. It's got that peppery taste, um, which sort of reminds me of pepper on my eggs. Flavor-wise, it's a very mild smoke, um, which is very pleasant on the palate. 
Uh, you do get a lot of the bright Virginia flavor in there. It's very hay, very grassy. Now, um, I said during, while we were looking at the cut, that I prefer to rub this out and pack it that way instead of folding it. And what I have found is I don't really get a whole lot of the black Cavendish flavor in this uh, when I do that. It's just kind of sweet all the way through. And I guess if I had folded and smoked it, that I would probably get the real, you know, mouth punch of sweetness um, that is expected from a black Cavendish. But as it stands, that's not the case. Overall, I'm very happy with this blend. Um, I have noticed that as I'm smoking it, as I get towards the halfway point, maybe to the third of a bowl point, um, it does require several relights, um, even at peak moisture. And part of that is just, it's a flake, so it's going to create kind of a lattice structure uh, to pull the, the phraseology used by another YouTube reviewer. And sometimes that can make it a little bit hard to finish a bowl. Um, but I mean, other than that, I mean, that's not for want of trying. That's just for whatever reason, I cannot seem to finish a bowl of this. Um, so I do usually have some dabble. Um, in the bottom of my bowl. But otherwise, I would say it's a very lovely blend. Um, I think if you are looking for a vapor to start with that is going to be mild on your palate, the Perique is not going to absolutely destroy you. Uh, Peter Stokeby Luxury Bullseye Flake is a great option. I think also um, if you're looking for a lower nicotine blend, this is also a great start. I'm fairly sensitive to nicotine and I haven't really noticed like my head spinning or anything. I get a, maybe a mild buzz, you know, if I'm smoking it on an empty stomach, but other than that, I mean, it's pretty, pretty nice. Um, this does tend to bite my tongue just a little bit, um, but that just could be a personal thing. I mean, your mileage may vary on that. So but other than that, that is my impressions of Peter Stokeby Luxury Bullseye Flake. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, um, please give us a like, uh, subscribe for future videos. If you happen to be in San Antonio, please visit Club Humidor. Um, the location I'm at is here at San Pedro. This is a wonderful, wonderful local smoke shop. They've got a great selection of both cigars and pipe tobacco. And the Winston Churchill Lounge is a beautiful, beautiful lounge. So I'll put their link in the bio so that you can see what their locations are, what their hours are, things like that. Other than that, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great week. And until next time, have a nice day.